Hello people of YouTube. If you found this video, you might be stuck in your own installation or you're looking for some guidance. We're here to do just that. This video is going to cover the complete installation of the 52 inch Connor ceiling fan by Hampton Bay. The ceiling fan is super easy to install with all the quick fit installation features. It's got a slide on mounting bracket. It's got AccuArm blade arms with captive screws. It's got quick install blades that just snap onto place really easy. It's got an integrated LED module light kit so you never have to replace bulbs. It's got a shatter resistant plastic bowl that looks just like frosted glass when it's, when it's lit up. This is a dual mount fan, so you can hang it from a standard ceiling with the included down rod, or you can hang it from a higher angle ceiling with an extension down rod that you can buy separately. Um, just a couple notes before we get started. You want to make sure that your outlet box in your ceiling is marked acceptable for fan support. If you're placing this fan where there's just a light kit in the ceiling, chances are the outlet box might need to be replaced. Anyway, just check it out, make sure that it's marked acceptable for fan support. If it's not, replace it before you begin. Another note, please make sure your electricity is turned off at the breaker box and at the wall switch. This is an easy project, but if you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, please consult with a licensed electrician. Okay, so as we said, this video is going to cover the complete installation. We've already unboxed it, and we're going to take you through the whole process to turning it on and everything in between. If you want to fast forward, you're stuck at a certain point, use the links below and that'll fast forward you to that certain step. So that way you don't have to watch the whole video. And at the end, if you like it, please click like and subscribe and that'll help other people find the video as well. Alright, so as you can see here, we've already unpacked the fan. We got the manual open to the parts page. We're going to make sure that we have all the parts before beginning. And that way we don't get stuck along the way. So first off, you have the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket comes pre-installed inside the canopy with a decorative ring on the bottom. We'll show you how to remove that in the first step to get started. Next up you have these five blade arms. As mentioned, these blade arms have captive screws. It makes installation much easier. You have five reversible blades. These are quick install blades that just snap right onto the blade arms. You have the light bulb. You have the fan motor. You have the LED light kit. The finial and the bowl cap come pre-installed onto the light kit. You have the ball and down rod assembly. You're also going to have this hardware pack. The hardware pack has the pull chain extensions, the hanger and locking pin, and some plastic wire nuts. Some tools we're going to need. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. We like to have a long one and a short one on hand. We need a pair of wire cutters and strippers. We like to use a line voltage tester to make sure the wires aren't live. Remember, turn off your electricity. Some electrical tape. And of course a ladder. So we got everything here. We're ready to begin. The mounting bracket comes pre-installed inside the canopy with the decorative ring on the bottom. To remove the mounting bracket, first twist the decorative ring counterclockwise and pull off of the canopy. This will expose the two screws holding the mounting bracket inside the canopy. Take note of the alignment post at the base of the canopy. You'll need to loosen, but not remove, the two screws at the base of the canopy far enough so that alignment post comes out of that hole. Then simply twist the mounting bracket to disengage the keyhole slots and remove the mounting bracket from the canopy. This fan features a slide-on mounting bracket for easy installation. The mounting bracket has two slots on the top that will align with the two screws in the outlet box. To install the mounting bracket, simply align the slots with the screws in the outlet box and slide into place before tightening. This is just a demonstration to show how easy it is. Before installing the mounting bracket, loosen but do not remove the two screws in the outlet box. Next. Feed the house supply wires through the top hole of the mounting bracket and align the slots of the mounting bracket with the screws in the outlet box and then slide the mounting bracket into place. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten both screws. Before routing the wires and attaching the down rod, remove the twist tie holding the wires together and gently stretch them out. Once the wires are stretched out, it's a good idea to twist the ends to make sure that there are no loose strands, and then twist all three ends together. This will make it easier to route the wires through the down rod. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen but not remove the two set screws on the motor collar.
Next, gently pull the green ground cable from inside the ball and downrod assembly. Place the canopy on the downrod so that it exits through the smallest hole of the canopy. Then place the decorative ring onto the downrod, making sure that the side with the notches is facing towards the canopy. Insert the wires into the bottom of the downrod and route them through until the ends exit the ball portion of the ball and downrod assembly. Gently pull the wires through until the downrod meets the motor collar. Align the holes of the motor collar with the holes in the bottom of the downrod and gently insert the downrod into the motor collar. Next, locate the hanger pin and locking pin in the hardware pack. Insert the hanger pin through the hole in the motor collar so that it goes through the downrod and exits the opposite side of the motor collar. Insert the locking pin into the hole at the end of the hanger pin to secure the hanger pin. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten the two set screws on the motor collar. Once the set screws are tightened, you can let the decorative ring and canopy just rest on the fan. If installing the fan with the included downrod, it's a good idea to trim the wires before hanging. To trim the wires, measure about a foot from the end of the ball and downrod assembly and cut with a pair of wire cutters. Then strip off about three quarters of an inch of insulation from each wire. Once the wires are stripped, twist each end to make sure that there are no loose strands. Now the fan is ready to be hung. Before hanging the fan, it's important to note the tab in the mounting bracket that will align with the slot on the ball and downrod assembly. When hanging the fan, you'll insert the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the entire assembly until you feel the slot engage the tab in the mounting bracket. The fan will drop slightly when properly seated. This is just a close-up demonstration. To hang the fan, lift the fan assembly up to the ceiling. Note the location of the slot and the ball and the tab in the mounting bracket. Insert the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the fan assembly until you feel that slot engage the tab in the mounting bracket. The fan will drop slightly when properly seated and the assembly will rotate no further. Begin wiring the fan by taking the green wire from the mounting bracket and the green wire from the ball and downrod assembly and twisting those two wires together. Once those two wires are twisted together, connect those wires with the bare copper house wire. This is the ground connection. Secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Next, take the white wire from the fan and connect that to the white wire from the house supply lines. Twist those two wires together and secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Finish the wiring by taking the fan's black and blue wires and twisting those two wires together. Once those wires are twisted together, connect those wires to the black house supply wire. This is the power connection. Secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Once all the wire connections have been made, gently tuck the wires into the mounting bracket and outlet box to make room for the canopy to attach. The canopy attaches to the mounting bracket using the two keyhole slots at the base of the canopy that will align with the two loosened screws at the base of the mounting bracket. Align the keyhole slots in the canopy with the two screws in the mounting bracket and then slide the canopy up and twist to engage the screws in the keyhole slots. If the screws don't come through the keyhole slots, you may need to loosen them a little bit to allow for extra length to go through the keyhole slots. Once the canopy is set in place, use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the two screws at the base of the mounting bracket. It's okay to tilt the fan assembly to allow for screwdriver access to get to the screws. Make sure both screws are completely tightened before proceeding. The decorative ring attaches to the canopy using two slots in the ring that will align with the two screws at the base of the canopy. Slide the decorative ring up, aligning the slots with the screws, and then twist to lock it in place. Before attaching the blade arms, 
you'll need to remove and discard the rubber motor stops located in the base of the motor. These motor stops are simply used during shipment to prevent the motor from moving. When installing the blade arm, note the alignment post on the blade arm. This will align with the long slot at the base of the motor. Simply insert that post into the long slot and the screws will automatically align with the screw holes in the base of the motor. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten both screws. Repeat this process for the four remaining blade arms. This fan features reversible quick install blades. Simply choose the finish that you want, make sure that finish is facing towards the floor, and then align the keyhole slots of the fan blade with the posts on the blade arm. Push down and pull away from the fan until the spring clip mechanism locks the fan blade in place. You'll hear a click when it's properly installed. This is just a close-up demonstration of how the quick install blade system works. To install the blade, choose the finish that you want make sure that that finish is facing towards the floor and the opposite finish is facing towards the ceiling. Then align the keyhole slots with the post on the blade arms and then push the fan blade down and pull away from the motor until you hear the spring clip mechanism lock in place. Repeat this process for the four remaining blades. The LED light kit attaches to the fan using three pre-installed screws on the light kit. Begin by first removing and saving these three screws. Once those three screws are removed and saved, locate the light wires in the switch cup of the fan. There is a blue wire and a white wire. Connect the light kit to the fan by connecting the light kit white wire to the fan white wire and the light kit blue wire to the fan blue wire using the easy snap connector plugs. Once the wire connections have been made, gently tuck the wires into the light kit and align the notched cutout of the light kit with the reverse switch on the switch cup of the fan. Then gently press the light kit into the switch cup of the fan. This will align the screw holes. Using the screws that were removed and saved at the beginning of this step, insert the screws into the screw holes and tighten using a Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure all three screws are completely tight. Remove the finial and bowl cap that are pre-installed on the light kit by unscrewing the finial from the threaded post of the light kit. Next, feed the fan control speed chain through the hole in the bowl plate on the light kit. When placing the bowl on the light kit, it's important to note that the hole will sit flush on the bowl plate of the light kit. Place the bowl making sure that it's flush with the bowl plate and then hold in place by using the bowl cap. Feed the pull chains through the holes in the bowl cap and onto the threaded post of the light kit and secure the bowl using the finial. Feed the center pull chain through the holes in the finial and then screw the finial onto the threaded post. Do not use any tools when tightening the finial, only finger tighten. The pull chain extensions are located in the hardware pack and easily snap onto the ends of the fan's pull chains. Attach both pull chain extensions. This fan features a 3-speed reversible motor. The reverse switch is located just above the light kit. Switch down creates a downward airflow for use in the warmer months and switch up creates an upward airflow for use in the cooler months to pull warm air from the ceiling. Make sure the fan is off before attempting to reverse the fan's direction. The fan is operated by pull chains. Pull the center pull chain to turn the fan light on and off, and the off-center pull chain to control the fan speed. Pull once for high speed, twice for medium speed, three times for low speed, and then once again to turn the fan off. Congratulations, your ceiling fan installation is now complete. Time to sit back, relax with a nice cold beverage and enjoy your new ceiling fan. As always, thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe down below and that'll help other people find it as well. And as we always say around here, 
Keep it breezy.